Before we get into the ruins, let's discuss the history of President's Park. Opened in 2004, President's Park was a 10-acre sculpture park located in Williamsburg, Virginia. It contained 18 to 20 foot high busts of United States presidents from George Washington to George W. Bush. At age 68, internationally renowned artist David Adikez privately funded and painstakingly sculpted the busts of cast Portland concrete over steel armatures. It took Adikez five years to complete all 42 statues, each of which weigh an average of 7,500 pounds. However, after six years in operation, the park went bankrupt and closed in 2010. Fortunately, local landowner Howard Hankins saved the statues from the stone crusher and moved them to his 400-acre family farm, where they reside to this day. Now that we know the history of President's Park, let's see what it's like today. The ruins of President's Park is situated at the end of a long private driveway near Hankins Construction Company. Currently, the only way to see the exhibit is by booking a tour. I've posted a link in the video description. During the tour, you're allowed to walk throughout and take pictures of the statues. Participate in presidential trivia or ask questions of the resident photographer, John Plashel. It is recommended that visitors wear waterproof boots, as standing water and mud are often present. Now let's take a look at how some of the busts have aged since the closing of President's Park. George Washington Thomas Jefferson Andrew Jackson Martin Van Buren James Buchanan Abraham Lincoln Andrew Johnson Ulysses S. Grant Teddy Roosevelt Woodrow Wilson Franklin Roosevelt Harry S. Truman John F. Kennedy Jimmy Carter Ronald Reagan George H. W. Bush Bill Clinton George W. Bush The Barack Obama prototype was built, but a full-size rendering wasn't sculpted before the park ran out of funding. Why did the busts not gain popularity until they were in ruins? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.